girl lowers her head in the restroom, helping the boy tend to his wounds, but the boy is nervous and at a loss. When the girl leaves, the boy starts floating in the air. It turns out he has the ability to float. Whenever his emotions fluctuate, he starts floating. The next day, the girl goes to the gym as usual. For her physical training, she is a specially recruited player for the school's volleyball team. The girl has an impressive appetite. Kim thoughtfully gives her his portion as well. But in the afternoon, when the girl goes to change in the gym, she happens to be seen by the class monitor. The monitor quickly hides, as he was instructed by the teacher to switch on the ventilation fan here. Now he can only silently wait in the control room. The girl starts training as if no one is around. She has a strong personality and wants to quickly meet the training standards. At that moment, she puts all her effort into jumping higher. But suddenly, her feet slip and she falls down. Coincidentally, Kim happens to see this. Without thinking, Kim leaps and flies directly to Anna's side. The girl and the class monitor are stunned. Anna asks when he arrived, but the boy's concern now is whether the girl is injured. The girl says she's fine, just a slight sprain. Then Anna asks Kim to assist with training, but Kim can't look directly at the girl. His heart beats rapidly with excitement. Unable to control himself, he helps her up again, but he ends up forgetting the numbers while reciting Pi to ease the awkwardness. Anna has to start over. It's the first time the boy has been so close to a girl, and he can't hold back. He suddenly floats in the air, flying over the girl. Since the girl had her eyes closed at that moment, she didn't see what happened exactly. Anna feels curious, but Kim explains that he has good jumping ability. Then he hurriedly leaves. However, everything was observed by the class monitor. What's even stranger is that, after everyone leaves, the class monitor secretly goes to the training field, and with a swoosh, he jumps a hundred meters, leaving a palm print effortlessly on the wall. That night, the girl comes to the gym again. She recalls the scenes from earlier in the day, feeling that something was off the whole time. After finishing training, the girl is about to leave, but she unexpectedly discovers a trail of muddy footprints. Anna follows the footprints up the stairs, but the teaching building is empty and eerily silent. She recalls the encounters of the past few days once again. Many of Kim's actions have been unusual. His floating feet that can propel him far away with a light touch. She is suddenly filled with confusion. Meanwhile, the assassin Mike has silently arrived. Is his next target really Anna?